Yeah, Lisa Edy, it happened here at this busy intersection around 10 o'clock this morning, and the CHP says the two women T-boned by that speeding carjacking suspect didn't have a chance. They say the impact was so severe. And I spoke to a couple of clerks who work on the convenience stores on these corners here. They said that they actually heard the crash. They said it sounded like a loud boom, and they just knew that there had to be injuries from that impact. Now, we want to show you some video of the crash scene that was here earlier. This is the Nissan Leaf that the women were inside. When the California Highway Patrol says the suspect crashed right into them after running a red light in that intersection. The impact so severe, it pushed the Nissan and that Toyota RAV4 that the suspect was driving into a white van, a third vehicle, waiting in a turn lane. Now, the driver of the white van was not injured. Sacramento County Sheriff's deputies, as you said, happened to be in the area supervising an inmate work crew when they heard that loud crash. One deputy came here to investigate and saw the suspect try to run away from the scene. And here's what happened next. The suspect was trying to carjack another victim and the deputy was able to prevent that from occurring and was able to take him into custody. Uh, from there, the suspect was transported to a local hospital from injuries due to the car crash and is currently in our custody. Just devastation to the vehicle, uh, the, the main vehicle that got uh, broadsided or T-boned, I guess you could say. The intrusion to the left side is just catastrophic. I mean, um, unfortunately, the two people that were in that vehicle at that time, they probably didn't stand a chance based on the impact. Now, investigators say this all started about a mile south of here near French Road and Gerber Road when they say the suspect first stole a woman's purse and her keys, but they say she fought him off. Investigators say the suspect moved on and carjacked the driver of that Toyota RAV4, which caused the deadly crash here at the intersection. Now, again, the women here in that car died on impact. Medics did take the suspect to the hospital, and deputies say that the suspect actually fought with the EMTs while in the ambulance. They say he will be charged with numerous counts here once he's released from the hospital and booked into jail. Reporting live in Florence, Michelle Bandour, KCRA 3 News.